You know the future of AI is moving at the speed of light, but believe it or not, it is about to slam into a physical wall. Today, we're diving deep into a company called Poet Technologies. They have a pretty radical plan to smash right through one of the biggest bottlenecks in the entire semiconductor industry. So let's break it down. The AI revolution is just creating this absolute explosion of data, but all that power is causing a massive traffic jam right at the chip level. It's like trying to force an ocean through a garden hose. The information just can't move fast enough, and that's creating a fundamental bottleneck that could stall the entire industry's progress. So what's the fix for this massive data traffic jam? Well, we're gonna explore one company that thinks it has the answer. And just so you know, all the deep research for this analysis comes from Flash, a platform that gives you institutional-grade insights on incredible companies like this totally free. Okay, to really understand the solution, we first have to get our heads around the problem. And it all boils down to this critical bottleneck in photonics. That's the science of using light to move data at, you know, mind-bending speeds. Here it is, the heart of the problem. For years, the entire industry has been paying something called the active alignment tax. I want you to picture this. Someone literally has to manually align a tiny laser beam with a fiber optic cable that is thinner than a human hair. It's painfully slow, it's super expensive, and there is just no way to scale that for the insane demands of the AI era. So how do you get rid of a tax like that? Well, this is where Poet's big idea comes into play. They're basically trying to completely flip a manufacturing process that's been stuck in the dark ages for decades. Their platform approach could seriously make them the arm of optics. And I mean, the difference is just night and day. On the left, you've got the old way, manual, slow, crazy expensive. And on the right, you have Poet's approach, automated, fast, and way cheaper. They're using standard semiconductor manufacturing to turn this handmade process into something you can mass produce. The bottom line, we're talking a potential cost saving of 20 to 40%. That is an absolute game changer in this industry. So how do they actually pull this off? It's not just about the cost savings. Their platform is material agnostic, which is a fancy way of saying they can pick and choose the absolute best components for each job, the best lasers, the best detectors, and put them all together on a single chip. It also handles heat way better, and crucially, it's built from the ground up to be scalable. That's a huge leg up on competing tech like pure silicon photonics. All right, so let's connect this amazing technology to the single biggest growth engine on the planet right now, artificial intelligence. Poet is being really strategic here. They're targeting the areas with the highest demand. Their main products are these super high-speed optical engines for connecting AI servers, but they're also developing light sources for the next big thing, co-packaged optics, which puts the optics right next to the GPU to get rid of that final critical inch of slow copper wiring. Every single product is designed to solve a specific AI hardware bottleneck. Now here's the really clever part. Poet doesn't own any of those multi-billion dollar factories. Nope. They use what's called a fab light model, partnering up with big established foundries. This lets them scale up production without spending a fortune on equipment, which is a massive advantage for a company at this stage. But even a clever strategy like this still needs serious capital to get things rolling. A great idea, as we all know, is nothing without the cash to make it happen. And this is where Poet's story takes a really pivotal turn. For any company to cross that chasm from research to mass production, you need a serious war chest. I mean, look at this. Just recently, in the third quarter of 2025, their revenue was, well, minimal. This is a company that's been in the pre-commercial stage, mostly making money from engineering services. And then this happened. A quarter-billion-dollar capital injection from institutional investors, a single event that completely fundamentally de-risks the company's entire financial position. It's huge. So the key takeaway here is this, that $250 million is a war chest. It gives them more than five years of cash to go out and execute their plan. It takes that immediate risk of running out of money completely off the table, and it lets them focus 100% on scaling up production. Okay, so the technology is validated, the funding is secure. What could the future actually hold for Poet? Now, what we're about to look at is a hypothetical framework, a way to explore a range of outcomes over the next five years. And it's really important to remember, this is not financial advice. The actual results could be much higher or much lower. Okay, so this table lays out three potential scenarios for the year 2030. In a bear case, they just can't scale up and the stock falls. In the base case, they become a solid, profitable niche player. 
but in the bull case, where their technology really does become an industry standard, well, the numbers get pretty astronomical. And, you know, finding these high-quality companies with this exact kind of asymmetrical upside, that's what Flash is all about. They scan thousands of their own proprietary research reports every week to find the very best ideas. This chart really helps you visualize that asymmetry. The potential downside is there, of course, but the potential upside, if they execute on their plan, is just an order of magnitude larger. This right here is the definition of an asymmetric risk-reward profile. So if we assign different probabilities to each of those scenarios, giving more weight to the base case, the model calculates a probability-weighted target price. Now, this isn't a prediction, but it gives us a single data point that kind of synthesizes the whole analysis. So what's the bottom line? Let's distill all of this down to the core investment thesis. What's the big idea here? This quote from the source material just sums it up perfectly. The bet here isn't on current earnings, because there aren't any. The bet is that Poet's optical interposer becomes a foundational, licensed technology for the entire industry, just like what ARM did for the processors in your smartphone. So what are the key things to watch for? Well, first, actual revenue recognition from their initial production orders in late 2026. Second, an announcement of a new major tier one customer. And third, the commercial ramp up of their key partner, Celestial AI. Staying on top of these things is crucial. And that's where a tool like Flash by StockSentinel.ai becomes a vigilant guard for your portfolio, surfacing these critical insights just as you and your financial planner are making decisions. Of course, we have to talk about the risks. And they are major. Can they actually manufacture millions of these complex devices with high quality? That's a huge question. Right now, they're also heavily reliant on just a few key customers. And there's always the risk that a bigger competitor with a different technology simply out-executes them. And that brings us to the final, really big question. With proven technology and a full war chest, is Poet on the verge of solving one of AI's biggest challenges and about to hit one of the biggest growth inflection points in the infrastructure space? Every piece of deep research, all the data and the insights you saw in this explainer were created by Flash. If you want to get this exact kind of institutional grade analysis on any company in the world that you're interested in and get it for free, just click the link in the description below to learn more.